Back in 2017, Genesis announced its ambitious plan to produce six models by 2021. These included G90 and G80 that were already in the lineup, a mid-size luxury SUV, a compact luxury SUV, a compact luxury sedan, and wrapping up with a luxury sport coupe. As of March 2021, two SUVs, namely the GV80 and the GV70 have already been added to the lineup, as well as the G70 compact luxury sedan. So, that leaves the sports coupe. In fact, the sports coupe was the model that drew the most interest from the public when the announcement was made about Genesis roadmap for 2021. However, at the same time, it's the model that has seen the least amount of coverage. The reason? There just was no information flowing out from Genesis. Aside from the G70 concept design, which was the precursor to the production G70 that looked more like a coupe than a sedan that made people believe that a coupe version of the G70 sedan was inevitable, there was absolutely nothing else to suggest that a coupe was actually coming by 2021. One thing that we can happily tell you is that Genesis has not completely scrapped the idea of a coupe in its lineup. In fact, the coupe project is one of the oldest projects that are still very much alive. From the insider information that we have received, there have been numerous design studies done for the coupe. So why is it taking it so long? Simply put, Genesis and the Hyundai Motor Group as a whole have their hands full. With the end of the internal combustion engine fast approaching and the company's priority becoming the development of electric vehicles. A coupe, which wasn't going to set any sales record naturally had to take a backseat to everything else, especially behind models like SUVs that the company desperately needed to be competitive in the luxury car segment. So, their focus was to develop cars like GV80 and GV70, which turned out exquisitely, mind you, but the development took much longer than it was originally anticipated, causing a delay of one whole year. The GV80 was expected in 2019 but came out in 2020, and likewise, the GV70 was also delayed until the end of 2020. And of course, the pandemic really didn't help with the overall product development and production, causing delays in all aspects of the operations at Hyundai. Even to this date, There is no confirmation about when GV70 would be released globally, as even the domestic Korean market initial orders are taking up to 8 months until delivery. Also, models such as G80 Sport is being delayed as well. The G80 Sport that's currently in the final stage of development will be delayed about a half year from the original expected launch date of May 2021. This delay is due to the production scheduling problem caused by the overwhelming success of the aforementioned GV70 as well as the recently introduced Ionic 5 dedicated electric vehicle where the first EGMP-dedicated EV platform-based crossover sold out of the initial allotment in just the first day in Europe as well as setting a new sales record in Korea with close to 24,000 units being reserved in just one day. Also, sports models such as the G80 Sport are taking backseats to other more essential models such as the new Hyundai Staria minivan that looks more like a spaceship than a car for Korea and Europe, and the all-new Kia K8 sedan that was supposed to replace Kia Cadenza until the announcement came for its discontinuation in the US market. Initially, Genesis had an ambitious plan of becoming a proper full-line luxury maker by taking the correct steps. Like starting out with developing all-new quintessential rear-wheel drive architecture and creating sedans before anything else. This puzzled a lot of people as even back then, sedan sales were fizzling out due to the popularity of crossovers. However, Genesis didn't just look at profitability, as it was a long-term commitment for the new brand and was determined to take the right first steps in becoming a world-renowned luxury maker to truly compete with the best German automakers. They went out on a shopping spree to hire the best people to do the job too by recruiting such superstars of the auto industry like Peter Schreier of the Audi TT fame, Albert Biermann who was the head of BMW's M division, and Luke Donkerwolk of former Bentley and Lamborghini. And together, they created such gems as Hyundai Veloster N, Kia Stinger, and Genesis G70, cars well known for their fine performance characteristics. However, a lot of time has passed since the initial plan and Hyundai is now in a jam to prioritize its objectives. As you recall from our previous report, with the era of the internal combustion engines coming to an end, Hyundai is completely restructuring its research and development to reduce the manpower for the internal combustion engines and cars and diverting them towards electric cars. Simply put, there will be fewer people and resources for the development of ICE cars. Furthermore, in midst of complex and overwhelming product planning at Hyundai with three separate brands and two sub-brands, in conjunction with development needs for region-specific vehicles for such markets as China, India, Europe, Americas, and the domestic Korean market, low-volume sports cars, naturally had to take a backseat, especially in the time of the pandemic, and the product that is receiving the worst end of the deal is the very model in question, the elusive coupe from Genesis. Commonly known as GT70, 
The coupe was originally planned as a two-door, sleeker version of the G70 sedan. If it would be produced within a year or two it would most likely share the same power plant that is being developed for the G80 Sport. That power plant is a 3.5-liter twin-turbocharged V6 engine that is retuned to produce well over 400 horsepower. Genesis says that the new high-performance V6 is to produce as much power as the outgoing normally aspirated V8, which produces 420 horsepower and 383 pounds-foot of torque. FYI, this engine was also planned to be a part of GV70 as a full sport model and not just a cosmetically enhanced sport pack model as it stands right now. So as of this moment, it looks like the Genesis Coupe project is still alive from all accounts. However, with all the delays and no confirmed production schedule, there is a chance that the project may just evolve or fold it into another Coupe project altogether. This other Coupe project is, of course, EGMP electric car platform-based product. If you have been following our channel, you know that the skateboard like EGMP is a very modular platform that can be utilized to create any type of vehicle from a sedan or an SUV to a coupe. The next EGMP vehicle confirmed is the very sleek four-door coupe-like sedan Ionic 6 and the Kia equivalent, and the speculation was that Genesis version would actually be a two-door version, which would essentially be a production model of the awe-inspiring Genesis Essentia concept. However, according to the information that we have received pertaining to the battery procurement for the future models, the Genesis Coupe wouldn't take place for at least a couple of years after the Ionic 6's expected launch in late 2022 and after the launch of the Ionic 7 SUV in 2023. This means that in a worst-case scenario, we won't see a proper two-door Coupe from Genesis until 2025 or even 2026. Everyone agrees that as much as Genesis is now fully respected as a solid contender in the fierce luxury car market with the introduction of sublime products like the G80, GV80, GV70, and the all-new G90, which is expected to really put up a fight against the likes of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class and the BMW 7 Series, Genesis really does need a halo car to belong in the exclusive club. By the third year in production, the EGMP platform cars are expected to churn out close to 1,000 horsepower rivaling the likes of Porsche Taycan Turbo S and Tesla Model S Plaid, and sub 3 second 0 to 60 supercar from Genesis sounds mighty tempting, however, as car enthusiasts, we can't help to feel frustrated by all the waiting and longing for 3 or 4 more years. So, here's the ultimate question. What would you like to see? A decently powered internal combustion engine coupe within the next couple of years or an electric supercar 3 or 4 years away? Please click on the link in the comment section to cast your vote. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now for me, it would be a dream come true to take the Essentia on a cruise from Seoul to Busan. At Genesis, we understand our obligation as a luxury car manufacturer. First and foremost, to create desirable objects that spark passion and inspiration. Essentia recognizes and gives new life to a culture which has seemingly been lost in the past years, where rationale was not the prime driver of creation. There was a time when people took great care in what they drove, so they were inspired by their cars. It's time, as we feel, we get back to that. But concepts for the future need to meet our expectations in terms of state-of-the-art technology and connectivity, integrating everyday private and work lives and the Essentia brings our outside world of communication and socializing seamlessly to the inside of the vehicle. As for design, I'm sure everyone noticed certain signatures in our design language. And to elaborate further on this, please allow me to introduce the designer who led this wonderful project. Ladies and gentlemen, the head of Genesis Design, Luke Dunkevogel. Thank you, Manfred. I'm very pleased to be back in Busan and very honored to present you the result of an exciting challenge for Genesis Designs on three continents. Isn't it beauty? I mean, we all love it. And this global effort for more design centers in Korea, Germany, and USA, a true design without frontiers. The digital synchronized design team competed and collaborated with passion to express the ultimate manifestation of our design identity, athletic elegance. The Gran Turismo typology highlights the ambition and emotion of Genesis, the perfect base to project our design DNA into the future. The low 2 plus 2 coupe 
with a cap backwards anti wedge architecture is tensioned by one single line, la parabolica. The muscles are centers around the wheels by this line. You will recognize our key design signatures, the quad laser lights. They are framing the crest grille, which is channeling the airflow around the full glass canopy. It enhances aerodynamic efficiency and downforce. It's perfect design with function. It is flanked by iconic quad laser optical headlamps, as previously introduced on the GV80 concept. On the rear, you will realize the rear oval contour unites spoiler to bumper, creating a narrow concave surfaces that integrates the quad lights. The butterfly doors are activated by a B-pillar mounted sensor with fingerprint and biometric facial recognition. A 3D printed G matrix adds structural stiffness and ventilation functions to the surface connecting outer skin and inner trim. And the elegancy seats are attribute to an icon uh, of design, the Charles and Ray Eames lawn chair. And they are finished in cognac leather, contrasted by blue velvet, that interacts with a fantastic stardust gray. Um, in the inside, you will also notice the tension dashboard is recycled in recycled carbon fiber, is forged, and is framed by linear air vents and the fantastic panoramic curved OLED display. The Sensia is puristic and a powerful statement highlighting our passion to create the most desirable designs for Genesis. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the true masterpiece from my Genesis dream design team. Thank you much. Thank you. Well, thank you, Luke. He could go on and on, believe me, <laughs> describing this vehicle. I can already picture the two of us, Luke, driving this vehicle on the roads of Korea. It is an ambitious goal for Genesis. I also hope to deliver on this goal for everyone here, especially for the Korean people who mean so much to Genesis, as this will always be the origin and the cornerstone of this brand. I promise that there is much more to come. So thank you all very much for being here this morning. And please visit our booth again during the show. Kamsahamida. Thank you. Trying to go the other